<laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. <laughs> 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 That's what your future is going to smell like. Mr. Cooper, I don't know if this is an assignment or a steaming pile of cow dung. Based on the way you smell, I'd say both. Looks like you got questions five and seven wrong, too. Pity. <laughs> Enough! Considering the regional exam is one week away, I wouldn't be too hopeful on your chances of passing. Granted, farm boys like you don't usually earn a scholarship from it anyway. I was uh, finishing up the assignment while helping out my dad with the cows. I must have got some, some dirt on my sleeve. I know I got those questions wrong, but I'm sure the other ones are worth looking at. If I wanted dirt on my hands, I would have chosen a lesser profession, like your father. <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, what does a farm boy need a $10,000 scholarship for anyways? Best to forget the regional exam. Stick to the farm. At least you'll be amongst your intellectual equals. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, farm boy. Pretty good milk. You squeeze it yourself? <laughs> now, now, don't be rude. I just want to say thanks. Give you a glimpse of what your future's gonna look like after high school. What do you mean? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Oops. Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> Give it to him. Breathe that in. That's what your future is going to smell like. And don't worry, I'll, I'll make sure I say thanks next time I'm in a five-star steakhouse. Gah! Mr. Cooper! Mr. Murray! He hit me! Ow. Are you alright, Rob? How dare you attack Mr. Stoltz? I always knew you were no better than an animal. This is Rob's fault. They attacked me. They poured milk all over me. I don't Look want it. to hear it. There is no excuse for attacking anyone. I'm calling your father. Your time at Riverside High is over. Well, well. Like father, like son. Is everything all right? Uh, sorry, I can't. <sighs> Could you fall further away next time? I clearly don't need to tell you how you smell. Apologies, uh, you called as I was feeding the livestock. What? What's this I hear about suspension? Suspension? Yes. You both heard correctly. Mr. Cooper decided to viciously attack another student in the hallway. Viciously? I was bullied. This isn't my fault. Please, Dad, you have to believe me. I saw Rusty push Rob, a fellow classmate, into the lockers. I don't know how things work on the farm, but physical violence is not the answer here. I only pushed him because he was pouring I don't want to hear any more. Pack your locker while I discuss things with your father. But Dad! Let's do as he says, Rusty. I should have known this was going to happen the moment I saw your son's name in my class. I'm at a loss. He always does well in school. I mean, Riverside called him Einstein. Einstein. Yes. Riverside's own Einstein. We are well aware. 
I guess the Riverside Press didn't dig deep enough into the bestial nature of your brutish son. Now look here a minute, Charlie. It's Mr. Murray, Lloyd. If I'm to spend my days here, amongst the putrid stench of the Riverside farmlands, instead of at MIT, where I belong, at the very least, I will have order in my class. And that begins with the removal of your son. But he wants to be a computer programmer. He's talented. I mean, he's on track for valid... Val... Val... Valedictorian. Oh, please. The only people that want to hear that boy moo... I mean, speak. Are you and your wife? Oh, she's dead, isn't she? I know you put Rusty in school because he's your pride and joy, but you really should consider putting your offspring elsewhere. I suggest the country fair. Stay where you belong. My father is a good, honest, hardworking man. Values you know nothing about. So how about this? Let me take the regional math exam. If I fail, I'll quit school. You'll never have to see me again. You. You think you're going to pass in the regional exam? Oh. Oh, this is too easy. So say yes. But if I pass, you have to apologize to me in front of the whole school. You don't have to do this, son. Yes. Yes, I do. Fine. You can take the exam. Makes no difference whether you leave school now or in a few days. And I don't think the cows will mind waiting a little bit longer for you to join them. I get that you want to prove yourself, but you've got no idea who you're up against. If I don't do something, people like him will never stop stepping over us. I'm doing this for us. I just don't want you to miss out on your dream defending mine. I want that. I know what I have to do. Please, just trust me. Sorry I couldn't give you a better life. Prepared for your future, I see. Not much longer now. Class, you have three hours to complete eight sections. Each section will be worth 40 points. Get under 20 in any section and you will fail. Mr. Edwards and I will be monitoring you through the exam. With all that being said, you may now begin.
Good luck. Bovine boy, come back here. Phil, would you mind marking this exam now? I don't think Rusty will be present for the results. Don't worry. I'm sure the udders can wait five more minutes. Not often we see our students with a perfect score on the regional exam. Good work, son. You've earned this. My, uh, <clears throat> apology. Just know that next year, when I'm at MIT, and you're here drinking milk from my father's cows, you always had the choice to be nice to me. You chose differently. <laughs>